on this third Sunday of Advent, we are presented once again with the great figure of John the Baptist, this time from the Gospel of John. John the Baptist appears in all four of the Gospels. His role is absolutely crucial. And yet, what was his role? As he was asked, who are you? Who are you? Are you the prophet? Are you the one, the Messiah? And he said, no. Then who are you? I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord. And John was quoting from the prophet Isaiah. And in that passage in Isaiah, it's a beautiful reference to this voice preparing the way for the Lord. Think about Jesus. Jesus is the Word of God come down from heaven, the Word of God made flesh. But John is the voice, the voice proclaiming that Word and the, the, the Word initially in order for, 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 for us to prepare the way of the Lord, we must repent. We must acknowledge that our sins are what is blocking the coming of Jesus. And in this prophecy of Isaiah that uh, John quotes, uh, there's, there's powerful images here. It says, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. You could see that our sinfulness makes us crooked. It, it, it makes us bent out of shape. We need to be straightened through a repentant heart. It also talks about every valley shall be filled and every mountain and hill shall be made low. What are these mountains and hills? They are the mountains of our pride. They need to be made low. We need to be humbled before the Lord. And the valleys that are filled in are the valleys of our weakness. We need to be strengthened through repentance, through grace, of the very weaknesses that cause us to fall into sin. So you have these images. And it's all about preparing the way of the Lord. You see, God's greatest desire has always been to be with us. That's why the name of Jesus at this time of year is Emmanuel, God with us. But the tragedy is God is with us in Jesus, but we are often not with him because of our sinfulness. We turn our backs, we turn away, we block, we, we build walls that separate us from God. This is the effect of our sin. And in order to prepare for the coming of the Lord, therefore, we need to acknowledge how, how our sins have blocked the coming of Jesus, how we are resisting his coming through our pride, through our self-centeredness, through our self-indulgence, through all of the ways that we are turned in on ourselves rather than being focused on the Lord. So brothers and sisters, once again, the call of this Advent season is to prepare the way of the Lord. And again, the voice of John the Baptist, a voice that cries in the wilderness. It's crying out, prepare the way of the Lord. Each one of us, brothers and sisters, we need to prepare the way of the Lord. We need to humble ourselves before God. We need to say, Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner. I acknowledge my pride, my rebelliousness, my arrogance, I, re I acknowledge my self-centeredness, my self-absorption, all the ways that I have turned away from you. Have mercy on me, a sinner, Lord. Have mercy on me, a sinner, Lord. I do want you to come into my heart, Lord, and I do confess and repent of my sins. And once again, brothers and sisters, the best way to prepare for the coming of the Lord is through a good confession. So I encourage you, to make a good confession in this Advent season when, you know, if at all possible. And if not, to repent in the depths of your heart and to make that a daily discipline. We should be repenting daily of our sins. We should be asking the Lord, crying out to him, Lord, show me, show me how pride has made my heart, hardened my heart, has made me resistant to your grace. Show me my sins, Lord, so that I can truly acknowledge them 
and repent of them. This is the call in this Advent season. Let us heed the word of God today.